What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just G. And when you think of drones, you probably think about this. And then when you think of racing drones, you probably think about this. Drone racing has everything that makes pro sports a big business. But this right here, this is called a tiny whoop. Yes, you heard me right, a tiny whoop. It is a modified blade inductrix. Well, I'm gonna 3D print my own Tiny Whoop mini drone. Everything I use in this video will be linked down in the description. Now, let's get to those files so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, what's up everybody? So first thing I did was go to Thingiverse and I dropped in Tiny Whoop, right? That's how you spell it, W-H-O-O-P. And first thing that pops up is a ton of frames of frames pop up just pick one i mean they're all gonna be good not all but you know what i mean they're gonna be good then if you want to you can search for canopies for your camera just like this easy canopies and then that's that's basically it all you need to print so we're gonna go ahead and get this to the slicer now don't worry guys you're not seeing things this is lychee slicer for my resin printing I'm going to print this on the resin printer and I have a pretty big build space as you can see. I was able to fit two tiny whoop frames on it and the underneath the undercarriage for the frames as well. One thing about resin printing, I'm not gonna go too, too much into detail, but you need to support your model. All this, all this on the bottom that's yellow needs to be supported. So going into your, your supports, you just click it. You click supports and you're just going to add it everywhere. There's yellow. You don't don't go sparingly with your supports. You need to support it. Slice that up. This honestly took for both of these. It honestly took four hours, four hours and it was done. All right. So I have all my parts set up. I have my frames right here. I have two different ones. I think I'm going to use this one because this one's kind of beat up right now. I didn't support it properly. So I'm going to use this frame. I have my frame, <clears throat> my undercarriage. I have four blades somewhere. I don't know what my fourth one is. Change it up. So I got my four blades right here. We're going to use green, I guess. I also have my controller with camera already mounted. First thing you want to do is you want to mount your camera. And what you're going to do is use the opposite side of your, your positive and negative terminal. And you're just going to use some solder on there. Make sure you're not completing your circuit or you're going to short circuit your whole board. Then we're going to add, we're going to add on our, um, our circuit board and I also got my motors too, four motors. So we are going to apply the circuit board You also have a, a arrow that lets you know which way is forward, if you didn't already know. So we're gonna apply that. We have our 3D printed camera mount. Now this camera mount came with the uh, the upgraded kit for a tiny whoop. Get out my handy dandy iFixit kit. My screwdriver and my tiny tiny screws. So because I'm so special, we gotta put on the bottom the bottom mount first. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? So let's plug in the... All right, so let's plug in the, the, the fans, like, or the... First, we're gonna plug in the, the propellers, the motors, jeez. First, we're gonna plug in the motors, all right, guys? Lord have mercy. I hope these are going in the right direction. I'm just gonna say that right now. So I have no idea. Good news is they fit perfectly, guys, yay. So on, on each motor, they have different color wires. They have a black and white and then a blue and a red. Pretty sure the blue and the red are counterclockwise 
and the whites is clockwise. And this is very important because they have to fly congruently across from each other or they're not going to fly. You're just going to fly in circles. So very important to make sure they're on opposite sides. You also got to remember this too when you plug them in. Okay guys, now I'm just going to mount the PCB. I got that bitch in there. Look at that. That look clean, don't it? That look clean. I don't know how well it's going to hold up. But that looks nice and tidy. Let's get these uh, cables out of the way. So I don't get caught in no propellers. For that, I got these little O-rings. These little tiny clear pieced O-rings. What they're going to do is keep the... It's going to keep the cables clean and out of the way so they don't get nicked up and to help put some extra security to hold this to help hold this camera down we're going to go ahead and place a rubber band there we go i found a little spot to hold it down pop holding it down so let's go ahead and add the little props on there got these little white little props i found the fourth one and there we go ladies and gentlemen i just built a tiny hoop looks good we got these little batteries right here and to keep it on the bottom I'm gonna just apply a little bit of sticky tape to the bottom of the of the tiny hoop and now we're all fired up wanna turn that off for now it's good to go see if I can get this thing in the airborne so check this out guys the build actually came out really well I was able to get everything lined up, everything bolted on, and everything that's sitting properly for this drone. The only problem is I couldn't get it to fly. The blades will spin and it will throttle up and then just throttle down and then the lights will start blinking. I don't know why. First, I had problems pairing it with my smaller um, transmitter, which looks kind of like an Xbox controller. So what I ended up doing was using my old one that I, I use for my, my big drone, which is a giant transmitter. And that's because it pairs with a Spectrum transmitter. Hold on, I'll show you. This is my Spectrum transmitter. I use this for my bigger drone, which flies a lot more. But I'm still able to use this with my tiny one. I'm not done yet. I'm going to continue to work on this and get this to where it needs to be so I can show you me actually flying this tiny whoop drone. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this build. I really have fun doing it. I'm sorry I couldn't get it to work, but trust me, I will get it done soon. If you haven't yet, please give this video a like, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you don't miss any of the great videos that are coming up. If you haven't yet, you can follow me on Twitter at JustGOG. Follow me on Instagram at JustG3D. And I also stream on Twitch at JustGOG. Check that out too. As always, everybody have a great rest of your day or night. God bless. Peace out.